Game Eco is getting some fire changes. I am talking fire. Absolute gases on there. Amazing stuff. Some of the best buffs I've seen. And the first one is so significant. It's absolutely insane. If you haven't seen the original video about a week ago, check that one out. Get my original reactions to that. But this is the takeaway from this. The first buff is to her E. That's just a whole Sakura. Now this is the totems that she plants down, her off the field damage. The original thing was a nine second cooldown on a 14 second duration. Now it's gonna be a four second cooldown on a 14 second duration. So the same duration on the field, but the cooldown has been cut more than in half. Four seconds, it's awesome. So you can get all three down every 12 seconds compared to every 27 seconds. You can see just how substantial that is, especially when you keep in mind that she wants to blow these up for her elemental burst. She can't move them either, so you are gonna be able to place them around the different parts of the battlefield to get the biggest buffed up version of your off-field damage as possible. And then in addition to that, the animation time of her actually planting the totems is so much shorter. It's very fluid, very fast. This is gonna be quite awesome for a gay meek bot there. Her elemental burst also did get buffed up. A slight damage increase on the base damage of it. 600% multiplier now at level 10 for the, uh, the Thunderbolt damage, which is awesome. It used to be like a 500% multiplier there. Now it's 600%. And remember, this 600% is for each totem you have on the battlefield. So this is gonna be over like a 2,200% mod now, which is absolutely nutty. Still has a 22 second cooldown. Still has that 90 energy cost. And this is the thing that made the nine second cooldown so bad on her E before, because you wanna plant them down and then blow them up. You have to wait that full 27 seconds again to plant down your off the field damage, which made Ye Miko seem very sloppy to me, which was my one reservation is she's gonna have this one time every like 30 seconds good thing to do, not anymore. And that's because her ascension got buffed substantially. This in conjunction with the changes to her elemental skill cooldown is wildly good. It used to be this thing up here where every time a, a teammate did elemental skill damage or elemental burst damage, it would reduce the cooldown of your E by one second and have 1.8 second cooldown. I'm not here to be some math buster in Genshin Impact. No, but what it is now is this is basically TLDR. When you blow up your totems with your elemental burst, you will reduce the cooldown of your totems. You'll just get it back. So if you have three totems down, you blow a three up, you'll get all three back again. You can plant them all down right away, which is awesome. Makes her so much more of a clear and concise sort of power character. She's able to do off the field damage, big burst damage, even bigger than before because of that buff to her elemental bursts damage multiplier. And then just put all of her totems right down back again, which is a fantastic thing here. She also got this change to her first constellation. It, instead of restoring seven energy, now we'll restore eight energy, all right, for each totem destroyed. So you're gonna get a grand total of 24 energy back instead of 21. Very small, subtle change, but if you happen to have a constellation one, Ye Miko, it's gonna help you out just that little bit more. As of right now, everything else in Ye Miko's kit is the same, but these were the things that needed to be changed the most, and they have been, and they went above and beyond and even buffed her an additional time. She'd be like this game-changing character that you must have. No, but in my opinion, that's a good thing. And if you can't understand just how strong these changes are and her fluidity as well as damage output, I don't know who you are. I don't know if you're this guy and you're on the floor now. It is so strong, I just can't wait for it.